Welcome citizens, Chidarius here. This is my uh, next video on my uh, voice attack series on uh, nav macros. So, nav macros are great. Um, there's a, a couple of basics that I've got going here. Uh, I have a <clears throat> macro set up for uh, each of the planetary systems and each of the moons. And I have one set up for uh, Crew L1 and one set up for Arc L1, um, the stations themselves. Uh, and there's also a utility macro called Clear Route. Hmm. So um, I'll show you the. I'll, I'll select a, a Crusader here, then I'll um, nav to it, and then I'll show you Clear Route. Um, these are all downloadable. There's a link to my GitHub repository in the description. Um, you can download just the uh, a VAP file of the of the nav macros, or you can download all my nav macros with the Astra profile. So um, here we go. Eva, navigate to Crusader. So it's clearing the route. Selecting Crusader. And there we go. Ava, warp drive on. Sure. Ava, warp factor one. Jump. Oh, that's pretty nice. Um. I've actually found it kind of handy. Um, if you're uh, trying to get away out of a situation, it's a little bit more sure than bumbling around. <laughs> um, also, if you're a miner, it is really handy to select the station that you need to jump to with your full mining load. Um, Especially when you forget to do it. You know, normally I go out mining. When I get to the place in the asteroid field or on the planet, I reselect the station that I'm mining on it. But um, I, I forget. It's so handy for those things. One of the annoyances with uh, navigation is when you do what I'm going to do. When I get about a 50k out from Crusader, I'm gonna bail on the on the quantum jump. Six, five. Okay. Now, of course, I can't select anything in my nav because Crusader is still selected. So I just say, Ava, clear route. go. Now everything else is selected. I can jump around the system, do what I want. Uh, the uh, stations for jumping, I, I'm doing them by name, so Krill 1 is Ambitious Dream Station. Eva, navigate to Ambitious Dream Station. stuff. Ava, warp vector one. Jumping. Um, as always, there are XY coordinates for all the mouse clicking and stuff like that. <clears throat> if you do not have a 1080p screen, you're going to have to change those. Um, and I will uh, show you an easy way to change them. Um, uh, here in a second when the when the jump is done, but the the basics are that uh, you just open up the macro and select everything below uh, the uh, 
uh, with the, the mouse coordinates that you want to change. Select everything from that coordinates on th down through the rest of the macro and, and disable them. Um, and uh, that should work nicely for getting the, the right coordinates. So, you know, you'll, you'll have to do that a few times. I'm, I'm looking at some other ways of maybe configuring <clears throat> these things in a in like a config file. Uh, so that you just have to change them once. Once you know what they should be. That way, um, um, might be able to do 1080p, a 1440p, and a, and a 4K. Um, but um, it'll be just as easy for anyone else to. is supposed to be like a profile <clears throat> and then you can, you can change all those things anyways let's turn that off and I'll show you one of the macros real quick and, uh, and we'll be off uh, let's see show my display so um, I'm gonna show the Uterpy one uh, here first because it, it does something a little interesting. There are a couple of ones that are like this. Um, I need to stop flying. Am I uh, on a second? Alright, I'm at zero. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. You turpy. Some things when you double click on them zoom in too far to see uh, what's going on <laughs> in terms of uh, like all the uh, microtech if you double click on the microtech planet on the nav map which is generally what um, I do right so here I'm going uh, to clear uh, the route in the macro after I hit F2 to bring up the nav map uh, and then I am double clicking on the uh, Microtech planet. Um, and then I'm going in to uh, select a sub nav point. But I'm moving the screen, uh, the cursor to the very middle of the screen, and I'm uh, uh, unzooming with the mouse wheel one click so that Euterpe can be seen. Then I'm selecting Euterpe. So it does it. Uh, consistently every time um, and uh, um, and all that is good so um, if for instance I wanted to well <laughs> um, so if for instance I wanted to get the clear route uh, screen uh, coordinates uh, on whatever my resolution that I'm running is, then um, I would just simply select that all the way down to the bottom, right click on it and say disable actions. Uh, okay, hit apply. I'm going to move this off screen. Uh, then I am going to uh, right click and execute on that um, that macro here in a second. Let's see, edit. Right, so we're gonna do this. Uh, can I execute right from here? I can execute. So we're 
we're gonna execute. Ava, navigate to Euterpe. Okay, so now the macro has stopped. And I can bring up <coughs> the uh, move mouse cursor to use screen coordinates and just simply reset the position with F8. Oh, pretty close. So I was one pixel, five pixels off, something like that. Uh, so that is the easiest way to uh, reset all these. And when you're done, simply enable them all. All right, uh, that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoy the macros. Take a look at them, see how I do things. Bye.